What's up everyone? Hope you're doing well. Today we're going to be giving you the top 10 loadouts you can be using right now in Call of Duty Warzone. And if you've been here before, you know we do this every Wednesday and Friday for you guys. So if you are new, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and hit that noti bell so you don't miss another video like this. And you can always stay up to date on the current Warzone meta. Now, remember on November 14th, the Warzone integration for Black Ops 6 does happen. And we are supposed to be getting Area 99, the new resurgence map for Warzone on that same day. As far as the map goes, everything looks pretty promising, but I'm gonna leave that up to you and let me know what you think down in the comments below. And remember, I respond to everybody who comments down within the first hour this video drops. So if you ever want me to respond to one of your comments, make sure you have that noti bell on so you can be one of the first to comment and watch all of the video let's get you these loadouts for this first set of loadouts we're gonna go with the bow 27 and i'm pairing this with the static hv but for movement the static hv is a ton of fun to run especially with this specific build for the bow 27 we're rocking the quartermaster suppressor the crown h3 barrel i like the jack glasses optic here but use whatever sight makes you comfortable and then the ardent tack stock here which really helps with that recoil gun kick and the 60 round mag show this one to you here in the firing range but this thing is absolutely insane when it comes to recoil control then with that static hp we're rocking the quartermaster suppressor i like the auger 840 light barrel the paracord grip the warcat 90 grip along with no stock and this thing feels incredibly incredibly fast absolutely love this thing and it's actually for being having for having a no stock on it's fairly easy to control Next up, we have the BP-50 paired with the WSP-9. The BP-50 is just old faithful for me. It feels automatically great every time I put it on. We're rocking the Quartermaster Suppressor. I like the Lore 9 Heavy Barrel, Jack Glasses Optic, 4 Barrel Heavy Stock, and the 45 Round Mag. We'll show this one to you in the fire range, but man, this thing has even less recoil than the Bounce 27. You're just not missing with this. Then for that WSP-9, we're rocking the Quartermaster Suppressor. I like the paracord grip here, the high grain rounds, the 50 round mag, and the NIDAR model sight. So this one's you in the fire range, but this thing has always been super, super good. Man, I just, I cannot wait for this Black Ops 6 Warzone integration to get newer weapons, man. I'm ready to use them. For this next set of loadouts, we're rocking the DTIR, which is still out ridiculously broken. And then I'm rocking the OG MP5 here, or the Lockman Shroud, with the conversion kit on it, which turns it into a full auto, which basically makes it the OG MP5. For that DTIR, we're rocking the Quartermaster Suppressor. I like the Sanctum 60 Long Barrel, the Jack Glassless Optic, the Rifleman 200 Stock, along with the 40 Round Mag. We'll show this one to you in the fire range, but like I said, this thing is still insanely broken. Very little recoil just really easy to control then for that shroud we're rocking the paracord grip the pro sapphire cylindrical laser i like the night model sight 40 round mag and the jack decimator which turns it into that full auto monster love the mp5 here it, it feels really really solid right there um very decent at range at like a 20 meter mark here 25 meter mark but man it feels incredible Next up, we have the FJX, but as a longer range option. And then we have the Reclaimer 18 Akimbo Shotties, which are absolutely insane right now. The FJX, we're rocking the Quartermaster Suppressor. I like the Bruin Bastion Angled Grip, the Chimera Laser Light here, the Ripper Light Stock, along with the Jack Scimitar Kit, which turns this into a monster with barely any recoil at all. Absolutely insane. Just very little recoil. And then if you rotate this thin tack stance, just like that, even less recoil. It's absolutely wild. Then for the Reclaimer 18, we're rocking the Bryson Improved Choke Buzzle here, the 12 gauge slug rounds, the Point G3P 04 laser. This really helps with that uh, hip fire accuracy, the Haste XV grip tape. And of course you want those Jack Devastators, which turns these into dual wield shotties. Um, you're not gonna get much performance out of here um, in the firing range, but you have to be pretty much point blank. But the fire rate, they did buff on them and they're pretty good. Yeah. 
Next up, we have the MTZ556 paired up with the HRM9. The MTZ556, we're rocking the Quartermaster Suppressor. MTZ Drifter Heavy Long Barrel. Paracord grip here. Uh, we want the 50 round drum along with the MTZ Marauder stock. The MTZ556 really feels pretty solid right now. Um, just very little recoil and the headshot multiplier after getting that nerf or the buff a few weeks ago just really really it really feels solid right now next up with that hrm9 we're rocking the quartermaster suppressor i like the thorn 90 barrel here paracord grip 50 round drum and the hatchet light stock these are fantastic builds i absolutely love these really short range here i wouldn't i wouldn't go too much out here for that specific one, right here in the 10 meter range, you're sitting pretty with this HRM9. For the next set of loadouts, we're working the STG44. If you actually play a Black Ops 6 yet, the STG44 is actually in Black Ops 6 right now. So it's not known as the STG44, it's known as the Model L. And there's a, I think it's first or second prestige. When you hit second prestige, you get this skin that looks like literally like the OG STG44. It's kind of crazy, um, but they're going to, I feel like we're going to have two STGs in the game, but the Model L for Black Ops 6 is definitely one you want to go ahead and get leveled up for the Warzone integration. For this, we're rocking the quartermaster suppressor i like the heinrichter c70 long barrel 50 round drum glasses optic for sure and the dr79 combo stock show this to you in the firing range but like i said this is kind of like the dtir just just very easy to control very little recoil high damage just so good man Next, we're gonna have the Striker. And this is like a all around very solid build. We're rocking the Quartermaster Suppressor, Striker Elite Long Barrel, Paracord Grip here, High Grain Rounds, and the 48 Round Mag. This thing is gonna feel absolutely insane and with very, very little recoil. And this might be one of the easiest SMGs to control, especially out at range. Next up, we have the Attack Eradicator paired with a Rival 9. Attack Eradicator, you want to run the Quartermaster Suppressor. I like the Conqueror 70 Long Barrel. Bruin Pivot Vertical Grip. Jack Glasses Optic for sure. Paired with Attack Verity Core Stock to really help that recoil gun kick. And this thing is absolutely nuttily good. I haven't seen this in a while. This will make you... This will make No Nut November very difficult for you. For that rival nine we're rocking the quartermaster suppressor rival c clear shot barrel paracord grip high grain rounds and the 50 round drum uh, this thing is a lot of fun to run too very little recoil as well a um, little bit more than like something like the striker but it hits pretty hard Next up, we have the Static HV, but as a more overall well-rounded build besides like a speed build like I had earlier. And the cast off LSW, which reminds me a ton of the Cooper Carbine, the OG Cooper Carbine. For the Static, we're rocking the Quartermaster Suppressor, Augur 840 Light Barrel, XRK Edge Handstop Under Barrel. I like the Nidar Model Sight here, paired with the SL Tac Hive Stock. We'll show this to you in the firing range as well. But man, this thing feels incredible, even with a sight on it. Next up, we have the cast of LSW, the Quartermaster Suppressor, the Mitigator Heavy Barrel, Bruin Pivot Vertical Grip, Jack Glasses Optic, and the Spetsnaz S15 Stock, which really helps with that recoil control. It's an absolute monster. Um, very slow ADS, unfortunately. I think it, I think there's a slight delay. I don't, I don't think that's supposed to be like that. That seems unnaturally slow. But man, this thing, <laughs> this thing has, this thing feels. It just doesn't move. Like it's weird. It's uh. It's got a weird recoil pattern too. It's kind of all over the place, uh, but if you can control it, man, it's just a lot of fun to run. And for this last set of loadouts, we got the car 90. This might be my favorite loadout to run right now. I've got back into sniping and I feel like I don't see a lot of car 98s run right now. And I feel like people have forgot that they one shot or don't care that they one shot. I'm not sure. It definitely one shot headshots at least up to 50 meters. And that's something I tested this week. So check the car 98 back out. If you guys like that. I don't get sniped a lot. Yeah, I don't, I don't see a lot of snipers a ton anymore as much as I did like probably back, I don't know, a couple months ago, maybe a month ago. 
So I feel like they've fallen, they've kind of fallen off a little bit, but this paired with this BP50 SMG is just so much fun to use. And if you were there for my live stream this past live stream when I uh, streamed Warzone Customs, which we do all the time, if you're interested in coming to the live stream and come hang out with me just live and want me to comment live to you, Wednesday, Friday, Saturdays, 10 p.m. Central Standard Time, just have these noties on and you'll get a notification that we're live streaming or come and join the Discord. Discord's in the link in the bio, all that good stuff are down in the description below. Just check that out. But this car 98, man, we're rocking the Sonic Suppressor L muzzle. I like the precision long barrel here. Definitely the range collar V3 optic that gives you that OG car 98 reticle from Warzone 1. No stock here for sure. And the high grain rounds. And this thing feels awesome, man. I love sniping again. Um, it's It's been a minute since I kind of have been sniping. I don't know why I stopped other than the fact maybe just like something like the like the stuff like the stg i know why we stopped stg 44 was absolutely broken for a long time and then we had a dtir battle rifle that just that came out in season six as well i think those two reasons are why you haven't seen a lot of sniping lately and that's because there's there was nothing to combat those dtir and stg 44 metas and i feel like the uh i feel like it's coming back a little bit so hopefully get one shot snipes going on in black ops 6 integration i cannot wait i cannot wait Now, for the BP-50, we're rocking the Quartermaster Suppressor. I like the Chimera Laser Light here. High grain rounds for sure. TRST-4 grip tape paired with that Jack Revenger kit, which turns it into an SMG. And it does use SMG ammo. Show this one to you here in the firing range, but you can do it either way here. You can shoot just like this, which is still absolutely broken. Or you can pop this thing in the tax stance like this and just end up using it that way. But thank you guys again so much for watching. If you enjoyed this style of video, make sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and hit that noti bell so you don't miss a video like this or like any of these. We'll see you in the next one.